We start this programme with Liverpool against Tottenham in Division 1. England midfielder Terry McDermott had just signed a new two-year contract and it was Dalglish's 147th consecutive league game for the club. David Johnson kicks off for Liverpool in their all-red strip. No clash of colours. And the first touch for Barry Davis. Archibald, pinched from him by Sunis and Alan Kennedy. Sammy Lee coming on a run and Danes will have to come and kick. Irwin, Neil, McDermott, Sunis, Hansen. Today's referee, Mr. Alan Civil from Birmingham. is up for offside, free kick to Spurs. Graham Sunis, Harry Danes who's been 12 and a half years at White Hart Lane but spent a lot of it in the shadow of Pat Jennings. Owen couldn't get away with that. Arm hooked over Archibald's shoulder and eventually pulled him down. The danger here is that Glenn Hoddle might curl one over the top and drop it in the corner. It's something he does with marvellous precision. And in fact it was Villa and he very nearly pulled it off. Problems for goalkeepers when a team has as many dead ball specialists as Spurs have. Villa curling that one with the left foot. Clements was across but it was a good effort. Douglish, no offside, and a little stabbing punch by Danes saves the day for Spurs. Hewton, looking for Crooks now, Irwin above him, Sunis. Irwin to Hansen setting off on a run Phil Neal covering for him in the middle ball comes loose to Alan Kennedy now Johnson McDermott back to Johnson Johnson's shot in 1-0 smiles for a goal that could hardly have seemed on ball comes out here to Alan Kennedy there's some fine sharp passing goes on here Johnson McDermott puts him back in with a lovely ball but look how narrow the angle was and how precise the shot was Ardiles Archibald was offside Again, but Hewton had stayed back and Danes has to head clear McDermott will try and beat him and Roberts rescues his side there was the offside trap failing to work because one man stayed back and created problems of all kinds for the goalkeeper Danes forced to head out McDermott read the situation very quickly beat the goalkeeper Lee with the corner again. Sunis hit Roberts. Darvish McAllister. Oh, 
Souness wins the throw in and will take it himself Ray Kennedy offside again and setting himself for this and meeting it well but Perryman to Ardiles back heel didn't work Lee Irwin Johnson Irwin Johnson's header Dalgleish, Ray Kennedy in the middle with McDermott. Hoddle getting it out to Roberts. Brooks. Perryman. Ardiles. Foul by Sunas on our dealers. Referee's upraised arm indicates obstruction. Direct free kick. And Perryman takes it. Lacey's header. Adam Kennedy bustling away to get it out of the area. Sunas carrying it on. Alan Kennedy. Offside, David Johnson. Johnson just went on and planted it in the net to show what he thought of the tactics. the post but Archibald has equalized long one in missed by Irwin a lot of space here for Archibald and it was deflected inside the post one all soon as Ray Kennedy this is high and hopeful clearance header by Hansen Ray Kennedy Dalgleish turning it to McDermott and back and Dalgleish now no penalty says the referee Roberts challenge Hansen Sunis to Lee Neil to Johnson flick on for McDermott and Kennedy to Alan Kennedy with space Roberts times the challenge well then Doug Leash in there and Lee to take the corner this time Doug Lee shot Danes only caught it at the second attempt but he has it safely now well given and a free kick to Liverpool Lee Johnson they see the defender Hansen. Oh, 
has to go a long way to collect Alan Kennedy stopped by Hoddle Hansen stopped by Archibald and the rebound has fallen well for Archibald Crook streaking through the middle taking the pass but couldn't control it and would have liked it played just a little bit more firmly Archibald making the most of a rebound after he'd come to close the player down that's where he got the rebound and was quick to react to it coming in now with Crooks just out of that picture streaking through and the pass really needed to be a little bit harder always thought of as one of the best psychological moments for a goal just before half time the initiative at the moment with Liverpool as Hansen strides forward Perryman charged down the shot and there is the half time whistle and Tottenham will feel they've done well to be holding Liverpool here to one all. Liverpool attack the cop goal in the second half that's Roberts playing a long one towards Archibald beaten in their last three games away to Birmingham and at home to West Brom in the league and then away to West Ham in the League Cup yeah Clements calling and collecting Lacey against Johnson. Ball comes up to Lee. Lacey getting his head in the way of another one. Soonis. Hoddle beating Alan Kennedy. But couldn't keep the ball in play. Lee Kennedy. Dog leash. Doesn't have many opportunities to show his skill turning on the edge of the box but when he tried it then it uh, deceived McAllister into a foul Danes no doubt a little bit concerned about the possibility of Irwin or Neil coming in on a late run from the far side soon as to Lee who can drive them from there and the goalkeeper couldn't hold it but he could do enough to put Irwin off scoring tremendous whack there from Sammy Lee this little man does pack a punch Dane Soit coming couldn't hold it in came Irwin and Dane spread himself to deflect the ball for the corner header up now by Roberts to Ardiles won't make it Dermot Lee Johnson and put out a play by Hewton Johnson back to Lee Once again, Liverpool working this right-hand touchline. Little triangles down here, so often successful for them. Dermot Lee and sometimes Johnson, sometimes Neil or Dalglish. Dalglish there and heading wide from the cross. Really whipped into that header, Kenny Dalglish. Neil delivering the cross, Dalglish up, but wide. Hoddle beaten by Alan Kennedy and here's Johnson in just nicked away from him by Roberts and it's a corner Roberts
Souness. Ray Kennedy. Oh, he turned well on that. Fourteen minutes into the second half, and the big man turned with all the agility you could possibly wish for. Trap on the thigh, left foot, and Danes left stranded. That was a beauty. 2-1. Brooks, two defenders to beat, support from Hoddle. Good covering by Alan Kennedy, Ray Kennedy brings the ball away. Hoddle and Ardila is exchanging passes, now Crooks, Hoddle again, Archibald, Ardila one of Tottenham's more promising attacking moves broken up eventually by Alan Hansen for Tottenham's first corner of the game. Liverpool have had 11. And Perryman is onto it, it was deflected. But the deflection took the pace of it. Steve Perryman. Sunis goes on to try to make something for Case, but Lacey clears it and Sunis is left on the edge of the penalty area, clutching his head. And now offside against Case again. Sunis still down. This free kick, incidentally, the 20th for offside in the game. Roberts. Case chasing it down the line. Nicely weighted pass from Sunis. And he takes the return from Case. Challenge from McAllister, but it's still Sunis. McAllister and Lacey confusing each other. Johnson trying to set it up for Sunis. He could still get it. McDermott couldn't get there. Hugen cleared. Now it's Lee. Neil. McAllister again. Ray Kennedy and over. Tottenham were not exactly in control there, but they were just doing enough to frustrate Liverpool. Second half hasn't been as good as the first, but uh, really there's not ever looked much danger of Liverpool losing this game. Certainly not after the hour when Ray Kennedy scored. Via Archibald. Case. Roberts. Referee taking a check from his linesman. Ardiles. And there is the final whistle. Tottenham's long, long record of lack of success at Anfield goes on.